welcome to today's lesson. We are on pages 86 and 87 of my first piano adventure. You should have already passed and played the graduation party in the previous couple of pages and received your certificate of advancement. These two pages are preparatory before working on the next book. This is called Grand Staff Games. So the first game, TAPS game number one, we're going to learn the word staff. The word staff is spelled S-T-A-F-F. -F. We're going to count five lines and four spaces on each staff. This is a staff. It has five lines and four spaces. Let's count the lines. One, two, three, four, five. Now the spaces. One, two, three, four. <coughs> the same thing is with the bass clef as is with the treble clef. Now I'm going to point to a line and I would like for you to count or to say the number of that line or space. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. What numbered line is this? If you said three, that's right. What numbered space is this? If you said three, you are also right. Learn that there are five lines and four spaces. Now, please, I'm going to go ahead and point to one of the notes on either page. And I would like for you to tell me if that note is either on a line or a space. Here we go. If you said space for this note, you're right. Next. If you said line for this note, you are right. Let's do two more. If you said space for C, you're right. Last. If you said line for this note, you are right. Now these notes here, B, C, and D, are unique. They are not inside of the staff, but they are outside, in between the two staves. This is a space, this is a line, and that's a space. Excellent. That's number one game. Let's play TAPS game number two. I would like for you to say the word, or the words, Grand Staff. Grand Staff. Now, find and name the treble clef. If you said these two, that's right. Now find the bass clefs. That's right, they're right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and play a high or low note, and please point to whichever staff that corresponds to. If you pointed at treble clef, you're right. If you pointed at bass clef, you were right. Let's do a couple more. Yep, right again, treble clef. Lastly. That's right, bass clef. Excellent job. Game number three. Point to each space, note, and name it. Begin at the low C and move to the right. And notice how you're skipping the line notes. So the way that works is you point to the notes C, E, G, and B. Then D, F, A, C. Now, point to the line notes and name them. Begin at the low D and move your way up. And notice how you're skipping the note spaces. D, F, A, C. E, G, 
B. You can even do that on the piano. Start with spaces. C, E, G, B, D, F, A, C. And next with the lines. D, F, A, C, E, G, B, and D. This after the C. Now this is a good way to prepare for the lines and spaces exercise that we will be learning later. So have fun with this game and we will see you at next lesson.